Ah yes, summer. The scolding sun, bugs everywhere, and sugary treats. You mix your favorite sugar water, I mean refreshing beverage, and sit down to draw when you realize you have once again dipped your brush in your drink. Well, I guess we're painting with Kool-Aid. So let's take a look at our flavor lineup. We've got pink lemonade for our pink color, tropical punch for our red, peach mango for orange, peanut pineapple for our yellow, green apple for green, and blue raspberry lemonade for our blue. Now you might notice there was no purple. I don't know if a purple one exists, but it was not available to me, but we can always try mixing our red and blue. A swatch sheet for swatching and testing our Kool-Aids, and of course, palette. Now I have painted with food coloring and to be honest I can only suspect that this is just going to be food coloring with sugar and other ingredients but you know I had to try it. We've got our pink. Whoa our red that is that's a fun color. Orange, yellow, green and oh my god I can smell that and our blue. And next let's add a little squirt ooh, of water. Oh my gosh, look at that color come to life. Science, how do they do it? Is that even science? I, I th maybe? So now that I've added water, the sugary scent of this Kool-Aid is just wafting and it's kind of like nauseating. It's a little much. We'll just give these a little mix, make sure they're all nice and, oh my God, what's the word when things dissolve? <laughs> All right, they're all mixed in. Let the swatching begin. Oh my goodness, that is, that's pale. Okay, the red has definitely got a lot more pigment to it. Not surprised, pink is usually light. There's orange, <laughs> yellow, looking very similar to orange, but there is a difference, there is a difference. Green is the stinkiest one. And finally, blue. We have a very pastel color palette, except for that red. Oh my God, that red is very red. I want to try to create some other colors. Obviously, I want to create a purple and I want to try to create a teal. So purple wasn't very successful. It just turned into this sort of red brown color, which is very interesting. But now I'm curious if I can make a skin color by adding orange to that color. I mean, a tan skin tone, maybe it's a little ochre. Oh, here's a question. How do these colors layer on top of each other? Does it reactivate? Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> the last test I love to do is how do they gradient? Can we get a nice smooth rainbow in between colors? Let's find out. Honestly, that is a really nice gradient between colors and that makes me really want to put a rainbow in this piece. I don't know. Let's do a little bit of sketching, get inspired by this color palette, how we have to work around with it bleeding and see what we can come up with. So I already have an idea or two for this illustration. Obviously, we have to include a Kool-Aid drink of some sort, right? Absolutely. This is, this is a cup of black sludge. And I'm currently obsessed with cats. Am I going to include cats? Probably. So the first idea I had was just an old cup of Kool-Aid here, sort of spilling over. And spilling out of this Kool-Aid was going to be this swirl of Kool-Aid cats. And when I think about Kool-Aid, I think about children. To be honest, I don't think about adults. I think about kids. Kids love Kool-Aid. Oh my God, I haven't drawn, <laughs> oh no, I haven't drawn humans in a minute. I've been so obsessed with drawing cats that, um, oh boy, we'll see how this goes. I would like to make this really nice and, you know, like fluid, like it's flowing around her. Also, it's summer and I've got these pastel beachy sort of colors. So I thought putting her in a bathing suit would be really cute. Maybe she's like, I don't know, at the beach or something. Do they still make swimsuits where it's like shorts? Like a one piece with their shorts. That's kind of cute. <gasps> with stripes. Oh no, that sounds adorable. Another idea, maybe I just drew like a giant glass. What if someone was like swimming through it and then I could play around? Now one thing is, I don't know how playing around with transparency is going to work with this Kool-Aid because this Kool-Aid does not layer well. So that's going to be risky. This is a Pixar mom body if I've ever seen one. Oh my goodness gracious. Is she thick? Does she have a tiny waist? That's a Pixar mom. Or it could be a mermaid. <gasps> a mermaid? Wait, hurry, chop off her legs. 
actually, wait, did I draw something like that where there was like a mermaid and a jug of Kool-Aid? Haven't I already drawn that? I feel like I drew that for something. Oh no, I'm just thinking about a Kool-Aid mermaid. This is kind of creepy looking because I ran out of room for her head. <laughs> Imagine she's not so weirdly egghead looking. This is silly and I do like it. However, I do feel like our Kool-Aid Cats is definitely going to be the more colorful, more fun, more energetic choice. So let's go with it. All right, if you are familiar with my painting with videos, you know we have a tradition around here where I put a circle behind the characters with an explosion of the color of whatever I'm painting with. So I started off with our circle slightly off center to the right. I wanted to make sure that there was enough room to swirl our Kool-Aid cats around our character. So our character is going to be on the right, the cups are going to be on the left, and the cats are going to be swirling all over the place. Basically exactly how I sketched it. I don't think I don't think I changed anything once everything was penciled I lightened it with an eraser and I was ready to start painting with kool-aid which I was very nervous about I really liked the colors I mixed with our test that sort of tan skin color in that really dark sort of it was not even purple. It was just a dark red brown color. Those were earthy yet colorful and I love them for our character colors. Mainly, I was just very nervous about the ability to layer colors as we saw in the test. It didn't go well. With our Kool-Aid cats, I really wanted to be able to layer them on top of our character and show transparency because they are a transparent liquid. That was very important to me. So I only had one choice and that choice was to just risk it. I had a feeling it was going to get really fuzzy and I was willing to risk it. Now, originally I did say I was really inspired by the way they gradiented in together to make a perfect rainbow. So originally I was going to create a rainbow in this piece, but when I created the Kool-Aid cats, a rainbow wasn't really in the cards on this piece anymore. However, I still wanted to include gradients in this piece. So I created a gradient within the Kool-Aid cats. We have a pink to red Kool-Aid cat. We have a red to orange to yellow Kool-Aid cat. We have a yellow to green Kool-Aid cat and a green to blue Kool-Aid cat. That's right, fellas. I did gradients. <laughs> These colors are so amazing. I really thought going into this video that it was basically, like I said, going to be the food coloring or even the egg dyeing video. It's just food coloring, right? That's, that's what I thought. It's just food coloring, but with sugar and other ingredients. But the colors, y'all, the food dye, and I think even the egg one, they are just so bright and colorful. And that's what I expected with this video. But these colors, they're colorful, don't get me wrong, but they're almost desaturated just a little bit and they just look so amazing. Even the girl, I thought I was going into this just using like a brown and a dark red brown, but even her colors, everything's got this sort of red tone to it and it's just so colorful, but also not too obnoxiously colorful. I think it probably helps that I did go through with lining her with what I was hoping would be the darkest color. I did use a little bit of that really dark brown but I mixed a little bit more red into it. Using a colored line work always helps make your illustrations pop. It's just the best way to make them look so much more colorful than they actually are. And as you can see as I line this piece I was super nervous about the line work bleeding into everything but I just gave this piece a little bit extra time to dry. It was dry to the touch but I think there's some sort of Kool-Aid science happening where things were still bleeding into each other despite them being dry, or it could have just been that the line work wasn't a big wash over the entire piece. It was just a small line, so it didn't bleed. Either way, I'm glad the line work worked out perfectly because look how amazing it is. It just really brought this piece together. Anyways, I've talked enough about how much I love the colors when it came to actually putting colors on top of other colors where you can see the green ghost ghost. That's a Kool-Aid cat. The green Kool-Aid cat and the blue Kool-Aid cat going over our character. There was definitely a little bit of bleeding happening and this actually made me realize I was very concerned about doing the line work at first 
but then I did it and it was all amazing. That's the challenge with these painting with videos. You never know how these supplies, the quote unquote art supplies is going to react with each other. Is it going to layer? Can it gradient? Can it do the things I want them to do as an art supply? And how am I going to solve those solutions and work around them? You know, painting with Kool-Aid and painting with ketchup and soy sauce might not be the most realistic thing to do, but it's a fun challenge. Anyways, it is time for our traditional ring of color. Now, if you're used to these videos, usually I would break out my hair dryer and blast them across the page. But number one, I've upgraded to a heat gun and that heat gun doesn't have as much of an air blast as a hair dryer does. And number two, I really wanted to get a nice gradient with these. So I just sort of hand drew it, which doesn't give it the same charm of chaos and splatters. But we did get that chaos with the actual splatters, I was mostly able to avoid our characters and the splatters look really nice. I did them in a rainbow fashion. And that is it for painting with Kool-Aid. guys all so so much for watching this video and a huge thank you to my patrons for their monthly support if you want early access to these videos secret sketches live streams and more check out my patreon the link is in the description you guys are the best i can't say it enough and with that i will see you guys in the next video bye